Hi, this is Laura GB. This is day one of 12 days of paginated reports. In this video, we create a template. So let's start Power BI Report Builder. And then we select blank report. Our first task is to set the page margins. So I right click here in the background and select report properties. And we're in the UK, so I'm going to stick to centimeters and stick to paper size A4. And let's reduce the margins down to one and a half centimeters for all four of them. Just checking the measurements there. We've got a width of 21 centimetres and we've got a margin for left and right of one and a half centimetres. So 21 centimetres minus three is 18 left as the working space. So I click OK. The next task is to resize the body. So I click into the body area, the white area here. And on the right hand side in the properties pane, there is size and I expand that and I'm going to change the width there to be 18 centimetres. Centimetres is the default so I just need to enter 18 and if you look the report has become a little wider. Before we go any further let's save our report. I click on to the file ribbon and click Save As, and then I select this PC. And once I'm in the right folder, I type in a file name. I'm going to pick Template, and then click Save. My next step in this report is to add an icon to the top right hand corner of the report. So it's an image, so we're going to click on the Insert ribbon and then I am going to click image and we drag a box on the report canvas and up pops the image properties dialog box so my image is a file on my PC so I need to import it click import it's a PNG file so I'm going to change that JPEG to PNG and there we are, stocking is my icon and I click open. And I'm going to give it a name of stocking and I'm going to click OK. So there's our stocking. I'm now going to move it to the top right hand corner and resize it. So over on the right hand side here in the properties of stocking I'm going to expand the location and the size so let's do the size first I'm going to make that 1.5 and the height also 1.5 and then the top I want it right against the top of my report so we're going to put that to be zero and the left we take 18 centimeters take away 1.5 leaves us with 16.5 so there we are we have an icon in the top right hand corner of our report the last things i want to set up on this template are the text items that will be on every report Firstly, the report title. I'm going to change the font to Arial. So click into there and select Arial. And now I'm going to resize it. So we go over to the right hand side and the location is right, zero, zero and we're going to change the size and width so the height I'm going to change to be 1.5 centimeters 
so that it matches the same as the icon and the width 18 um, minus 1.5 is 16.5 so there we are it matches right up to the logo I want the text to match the report name do a right click in that text box and I'm going to select expression and up comes the expression builder on the left hand side here under category I pick built-in fields and then in the center from item I pick report name and double click on it and it gets typed up into the expression box at the top and then I click OK so there we are we've got our report name next I want to format the execution time in the footer and also move it to the right hand side so I click onto the execution time right click and pick expression so there's a formula at the moment it's using one of the built-in fields I want to put a format function around it so I click on just after the equals and I expand common functions and select text and then I'm going to pick format double click on it and they are it appears before the global's execution time then I click onto the end and I put in a comma and then I'm going to put in the text string so double quotes and we're going to go two D's hyphen three capital M's hyphen four lowercase y's now it's important to get the case right capital M's is for month lowercase m's is for minutes and capital D's and capital Y's don't work so they have to be lowercase and then we do a close bracket just to finish off that formula and then I'm going to click OK and it gets replaced by an EXPR saying there's an expression in there then we're going to change this one's font as well to Arial and now I want to move it over to the right hand side looking on the right over here I am going to change its size just slightly to be five centimeters and its location so the top I'm going to change to be zero so that means it'll be at the top of the footer and the left so 18 centimeters minus 5 gives me 13 centimeters and there we are it's now on the right hand side lastly I want to add a page number so click away from the expression for a moment and over on the left hand side here I've got built-in fields if yours is if you click on the the plus it will expand and you can see in there I've got page number and I'm going to click on that and drag it into the footer and there we are a text box appears with page number already in it so all I need to do now is just position it I want it to be central so on the right hand side here we're going to change the size to make maths easy I'm going to make the width two centimeters so the location so that it lines up with the um, time in the right hand side we're going to make the top to be zero and I'm going to make the left to be so 18 divided by 2 makes 9 the width of it is 2 centimeters so let's make that um, 8 centimeters and last but not least we go up onto the ribbon at the top here and just make the text center aligned so that it's there so we've now put in our report name we've put things into the footer we've put in an icon let's just do a quick 
preview before we save and finish off. So on the home ribbon on the left hand side is the run button and if we click there there is a web version of it but if we now go to print layout we can see we have an icon in the top right the date in the bottom in the bottom right with a page number in the middle now we haven't got a report title that's because at the moment is not a published report but that will be there when we publish that was building a report template for paginated reports tomorrow's video will add some data and create our first report if you haven't already please press subscribe take care now <laughs>